Upstart Goblin is back at three. And what does that mean? It means I can play Sky Striker and make sure I always have spell cards in the graveyard. On top of that, we have cards like Mind Control that just came back to three, which is another absolutely insane spell card that Sky Striker now has access to. It's an absolutely insane deck. This is what I like to call Demon Time Sky Striker. Let's go. This deck list is what I like to personally call Demon Mode Sky Striker. Bro, Mind Control back at three. Upstart back at three. Who decided to give Sky Striker Upstart back at three? It makes all of your cards live. It makes your Engage lives. It makes your Widow Anchors live. It's so insane the fact that we have three Upstart, three Mind Control. This is Demon Time Sky Striker. We want to break every single board. Back row boards with the Lightning Storm, the Heartbeats Feather So We want to break every single board. Front row boards with your Mind Control, with your Change of Heart, Talents, and we want to OTK. And we want to win games. And that's how this deck plays. So let's get right into the deck profile. We are playing three of the Sky Striker Ace Ray. One of the most important cards of the deck. If you guys have ever played Sky Striker or even played against Sky Striker, you know how powerful Ray is. So of course we're on three Ray. We're also on one Rose. Now, while Rose is still a very powerful card, the only reason you want to be playing the one is because she doesn't really further your game state. She doesn't help you break boards. And so for that reason, we're just playing the one Rose. You see it when you need to see it, but Ray is the most important one to be playing. And of course, one Rhoda can get you into to rows can get you into your raids as well so one rotor for consistency another card for consistency is to engage engage of course is part of greed for this deck and the biggest problem i guess with engage and strife striker in today's format was hey can i get the spell cards in my graveyard so i can get the extra draw can i get the extra spell cards in the graveyard so i can use the widow anchor etc etc and with upstart being back at three it's not a problem I promise you, it's not a problem. It's so easy to make that happen. So that's why we're playing two engage, of course. We're also playing three linkage. Linkage is very important in a lot of the OTK strategies as well. This card on its own is OTK in if, you, if your opponent has 8,000 life points, right? I think if I, if I do the math correctly, it does exactly 8,000 damage, either 8,000 or 8,100. However, this kind of does have a few issues with Upstart. Of course, with Upstart, we're giving our opponents life points. But of course, with three Widow Anchor that are always going to be live with your Upstart Goblin, with three Mind Control, which are going to be taking our opponent's monsters, they can't attack with Mind Control. However, you can use them for Link Fodder. And that's the most important part about this, right? So Linkage is still really important because in the OTK strategies, you need to have Linkage live. We're also playing three Widow Anchor. Widow Anchor is very important of course to break boards to negate our opponent's card effects to take our opponent's monsters etc etc we're also playing two shark cannon shark cannon of course to mess with our opponent's graveyard graveyards are very relevant in today's format so being able to mess with this of course is very powerful as well also another card that can special summon monsters to your side of the field same thing with widow anchor widow anchor doesn't really special summon it it more so takes the monster but regardless like just getting more monsters on your side of the field just to try to help you push for more damage and otk is very powerful we're playing the one hornet drones of course for when you don't see ray or rose hornet drones does get the job done for you we're also playing the one multi-role. Multi-role is a very powerful card on its own, but we're only playing one. Even though it's at three, we're only playing the one multi-role, and that's because going second specifically, it's not as important for you. It's not going to help you OTK, and that's why we're just playing the one. Same thing with Area Zero, just a one of, and as well as Afterburners. Now, while Afterburners is a good card because it's getting rid of your opponent's cards, which is really powerful, popping cards actually in today's format is not as great. Some cards can't be targeted. Some cards can't be destroyed by battle or card effect, I should say. Some cards, when they are destroyed by card effect, they get multiple effects, so that's that's why we're only just playing the one afterburners because cards like mind control and change of heart and stuff are just better because you can use them to link away right we're also playing the one call by the grave of course to protect us from a lot of the hand traps now now we're getting into the board breakers this is where the demon time sky striker stuff happens so we're playing two tactics thrust and the reason we're only on two thrust is because this deck is super consistent on its own already with all the new draw power with upstart goblin so two thrust also engaged by the way super consistent and this is essentially going to get you into cards that you might not have already in your hand so if you already have engage in hand and you need board breakers you can search board breakers if you have board breakers you can get into engage so that's why thrust is so powerful two talents of course talents is really good at multiple uses breaks your opponent's boards takes cards out of their hand helps you draw cards if you really needed to so it's really powerful in that sense one harpy's feather wrestler two lightning storm board breakers of course three mind control now mind control is insane so you target an opponent's monster take control of it to the end phase can't be tributed cannot declare an attack it doesn't matter getting into access code talker and being able to otk that's what really matters, right? So that's why we're playing the three mind control. We're playing the one change of heart as well. Same thing as uh, mind control, of course. But the nice thing about change of heart, at least, you can attack with the monster you take. So if you're able to use mind control, kind of do a bunch of shenanigans, do a bunch of combos, then you make access code talker, and then you can change of heart. Let's say your opponent has one more monster, and you can push for more damage, etc., etc. But yeah, that, that's kind of why we're playing all of these. I'm gonna take your monsters, and then we're playing three upstar goblin. Now, upstar goblin effectively makes this a 37 card deck, which is absolutely insane. We're only playing 37 cards, and on top of that. 
it gets spell cards in the graveyard for you, which means you get access to stuff like Engage's second effect, Widow Anchor's second effect, Shark Cannon's second effect, because it's very much easy setup with your Upstar Goblin being at three. Lastly, we're playing three Ash, three Imperm. I think these are just mandatory hand traps in today's format. Imperm and Ash, of course, stop your opponent. So you're playing the Board Breakers here, but you're also playing these cards over here, which can also stop your opponent from making boards. In which case, if you're stopping your opponent from making boards anyway, you're going to be able to OTK with Linkage as well, right? So although this deck sounds crazy or looks crazy with the three mind control and uh, the, the change of hearts and the talents, and it's like, okay, what are we doing with all these monsters? Well, actually, funny enough, I'm going to move on to the extra deck and I'm going to be showing you guys that uh, a lot of the extra deck for Sky Striker actually has become a little bit more generic. So what I mean by that? Well, Sky Striker Ace Zeke only needs one Sky Striker monster. You needs two monsters, of course, but only one of them has to be a Sky Striker monster, which means that if you're taking your opponent's monster, you can link into Zeke and then you can try to link climb with it, which is absolutely insane, right? So we're playing the one Zeke, playing the one Azalea, same reason. It's very generic. It's light or dark monster, and it doesn't have to actually be a Sky Striker monster. Keep in mind, mind control is not a once per turn. If your opponent has two dark monsters on the board, you take both of them, you make an Azalea, which is absolutely insane. Insane, right so that's why azalea is really powerful just as a generic card then of course we're playing three kagari three shizuku and two hayate the reason we're playing these ratios i think they're just the best ratios you could arguably cut shizuku to two and play three hayate but uh, i just i think these are just the standard ratios the best ones to play one ip mascarina of course if you're not otking your opponent ending on ip mascarina is really powerful because you can go into cards like sp little knight again you take your opponent's monsters you make ip you make sp you're always making these cards with your opponent's monsters in this deck which is absolutely insane we're playing the one dark Dark, of course uh your ray is a dark being able to get into dark is really powerful because you can summon another dark monster your opponent might have in their graveyard and then you can use that to link climb as well so i like playing the one dark one unicorn now while we're playing sp little knight i actually do like playing the unicorn because if we're taking so many of our opponent's monsters it doesn't hurt just sometimes to make the unicorn and then use the unicorn to make access code talker because now access code talker becomes 5300 and you can start popping cards with it of course as well so the last card of course we are playing is access code talker and that's it for the extra deck 15 cards here Guys, this is demon mode. Sky Striker. Now, usually I typically show you guys a side deck. I'm not actually showing you guys a side deck in today's video because I don't know exactly where this deck is going to, or not this deck, but this format I should say is going to go. I don't know exactly what decks are going to become meta, but there are the generic cards like Evenly Match, which are always relevant. Of course, in an OTK deck like this one, maybe you don't want to be playing Evenly Match. However, the really cool thing about Sky Striker is if you're siding out all the go second cards because you think your opponent's going to make you go first, you can play a lot of good going first cards as well. Unfortunately, a lot of the best floodgates that you guys can be playing are kind of now on the band list but the really cool thing about this deck is it's so flexible so again anything to help you go first d barrier is a really powerful card going first solemn judgment is a card you can side in just a bunch of options for you guys to consider but again i didn't want to show you guys a full side deck just because i'm not really fully aware where this format is going to go and what's going to pan out but again side deck is always going to be up to personal preference but guys oh my god three mind control baby three upstar goblin who's giving all these broken cards to sky striker konami is and bro now is the time to play this deck so that is it for today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy. That is my take on Sky Striker for the post January 2024 ban list. This deck is absolutely on demon time, bro. Mind control, upstart goblin. You can break any board, front row, back row, because you have the lightning storm and the harpies feather duster as well. And it can OTK so easily. So if you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh content just like this one. We are uploading every single day in the month of December. So make sure you guys subscribe to stay tuned into all of that. We're also going to be doing a lot of post ban list deck profiles files so if you guys want to get all those updates make sure you guys are subscribed so i appreciate every single one of you thank you guys all for watching and with that spanko sign it out peace